I've met way more people who deal with some sort of mental health thing than who have it. And those who have it, I would never wish it on anyone. And I'm always like, it's amazing. You, yeah. But they have their issues and they're their things. Maybe they yeah. have arthritis. Maybe they yeah. uh, have yeah. really bad allergies. Maybe they smell. Um, yeah. <laughs> but it's like someone specific you're talking about. There's always someone who's dealing with something like it and you should be able to take solace in the fact that you're not, there's nothing wrong with you. This is just yeah. who we are and it's a part of our everyday and our makeup and what makes you and I, maybe it's something that helps us be, be certain types of actors and we're able to, to deal yeah. with uh, empathy and, and really getting into a character is because we've lived with something that is, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can only, sh hi Penny Bevan. Um, <laughs> You're not alone. So many people. And I love lately that celebrities and athletes like mm -hmm. Kevin Love, who's a basketball player, used to be on Cleveland with LeBron James. I remember. LeBron James talks about mental health. Like, I want them, anyone who deals with this, just come out and fucking talk about it. Because some kid who's sitting in his basement who can't deal with it anymore sees fucking an NBA player yeah. or Rose McIver or, like, they're going to be like, oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I also think what, what I sometimes wrestle with is that I'm so fortunate in that I'm able to um, pay for the resources I need with therapists. And um, right. and I think, you know, for a lot of people who don't have access to that, um, I have a lot of compassion. I think I can only encourage. I know that those things can be very expensive. There are lots of um, insurance provided therapists. Um, so I really recommend if you if you can, if you need help. Right. Uh, trying to look into whether that's available to you. And also uh, there are so many resources online now and to share, like there's a great podcast by Tara Brack. Do you know Tara Brack? No. What? How are you spelling that? T-A-R-A -A is her first name and her last name is B-R-C-H, Tara Brack. And okay. she very generously does these um, podcasts that are free that you can listen to that talk about a myriad of different um it, mindfulness approaches basically but they're really really effective she she knows how to communicate really well through this medium and i i mean there are there are options and they don't always feel as accessible but i just really recommend that people try and find the things that you because 30 years ago you couldn't do this the same way you might have to go dig oh. it out of a library now we have these great and you thought you could yeah yeah so now to be able to like look at youtube videos online and i do really recommend um maybe vetting the the processes, to like talk to somebody you know who's maybe had a really good experience with it before. Right. Um, but there are some really fantastic, um, well-educated professionals who are providing resources right now that can be so helpful. And Yeah, they're easy. You have your phone, you use your phone for Instagram and Twitter, but you can use your phone for this. There's at least three or four different meditation apps. There's Calm and uh, Mindfulness. You can yeah. go on YouTube. I've been doing yoga from YouTube, yeah. so meditations from YouTube. Uh, you know what helps me a lot is audio. Uh, I do. I'm not a great reader, mm -hmm. so I got a pan, I got an anxiety and depression book on Audible, mm -hmm. and when I walk, I listen to it, mm -hmm. or sometimes. Like if I can't sleep at night, and I also do a lot of, uh, when I'm dealing with a lot of anxiety, it affects my sleep. And I listen to a lot of like Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. uh, do you do the calm, the, calm, uh, the calm app has all the fairy tales the and things? The calm app. Uh, and sometimes I'll listen to those before I go to bed and it really helps my mind shut down before the night. I just uh, saw Dr. Daniel Fox is an incredible YT resource for mental health and is a qualified uh, Exactly. I really encourage like um some of this conversation. Maybe I'll put a couple of things in my stories um in the next little while as well. Just yeah, do that. Yeah. I would love that. Daniel said so many great things that I was like, dude, you should we need you to talk a little more. You got you got your shit and going right and this is good. And I'm gonna try and do this you know, every couple of weeks. It's crazy because I when when I did this, I did one of these uh, April 1st, because it was the day, it was like the anniversary of a year ago. Yeah. And um, and then today I was taking a shower and I was like thinking, I'm like, yes, yeah, so, all right, guys, I'm going to just talk about how the last couple weeks has been tough. And I was like, oh, that was six days ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That, that was six days ago. Happening right now, too. It's like, it feels like just yesterday quarantine started and also a year ago. Um, 
but but yeah, no, I, I, I will definitely Let me see if there's it. any other questions. This has been so great. I love, thanks for doing this. Oh, Lenny, thanks for inviting me. I really, oh, I, of course. I'm very passionate about and that, you know, sometimes makes sense and sometimes I just feel like I'm completely lost and don't understand any of it again, but that's just the journey and we keep sort of cycling around and, um, and we're not alone in it. Uh, let me see if I can get, mm. Oh, here, I don't, I don't want to give you anything that's going to kind of trigger you. How are you coping with being so far removed from loved ones and friends in New Zealand? Is... <laughs> <laughs> I had to be careful. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, there are I'm... a lot of people who are. You're with your boyfriend, George, correct? Yeah. Yep. I'm George. lucky enough that I'm with my wife. FaceTiming, obviously. I've been FaceTiming like a fuck. Do the Zoom. I'm trying. I want to get a Zoom with my entire family yes. and then yell at them. How yes. are you doing with <laughs> being wherever they are? Um. We FaceTime, I, yeah, my, I have a small immediate family um, and they all live close to each other in New Zealand, like 10 minutes drive from each other. Sometimes, um, in some ways, again, they, they spend every kind of Sunday evening together having dinners and everything. And my right cousin, now, oh, sorry, that, go ahead. Uh, cousin, right now, what were you going to say? My cousin just came in real quick. I haven't said oh, it. What's oh, Is David Karukin. That's my cousin, Dave. Dave, Davey boy. I haven't seen you in forever. Like my brother and his wife and two kids live 10 minutes down the street from my parents and they're not seeing my parents right now either. So it doesn't really matter whether I'm here or it's kind of, everybody feels a lot far away from everybody right now. Um, I, I really, really miss New Zealand. I miss the way I crave the way that Jacinda Ardern is handling this situation there is like breathtaking. Um, they haven't just been flattening the curve. What did they say today? They've been destroying it or squashing it. It's like they, they yeah. have taken yeah. it really, really well with it. British yeah. Columbia, great. That's great. That's great. I really um, I am inspired by that and it makes me kind of homesick. But um, I feel really like it's good to, I, something I always come back to is it's really good to miss a place like or to miss people. I feel very fortunate to have things that I love that much that I do miss and it's a little bit what you're talking about before the cognitive behavioral therapy of like you you can either be like it's so sad that i'm away and it's so sad or you can reframe it and it takes a lot of practice and does not feel organic at all to begin with but can my phone's gonna die in a second I, I will warn you if it suddenly cuts out that's why and i'm very oh, okay. to have been able to oh. um but yeah to, to Reframe it as it's it's good to have people that you miss. It's good to have a place that I miss and and that I can be excited to see again because this isn't forever. Um, yeah, you know, keep treating it as a, a a temporary situation and that will it will be different on the other side, but hopefully, in some ways, better. Um, and well, more. look at if anything we should learn from this, the goddamn the environment, the mm. water, the air. Uh, the the do you mean the canals in Italy like Venice, um, you can see uh, through them. Yeah. Uh, I think a couple last week, California's air was like one of the cleanest in the entire world for a big city. And you can Which, see it go for a neighborhood walk. It's like it's crisp. Let, please, whatever comes out of this, please, yeah. please. <laughs> let's Look remember the planet, please. And then also, uh, you know, I've had some really good long talks with some family members and friends whether it's FaceTime or on the phone, or even doing this. We've been doing this, and we talked to you a week ago. You and I have never had a conversation. We've now had two in two weeks. I know. Um, it's just of something You different. learn things about people that you may have known or you might not have. And yes. when you get out of this, let's try and remember that feeling of uh, when something's taken away from you. This is stuff our relatives and ancestors, like our grandparents and great-parents, they went through actual tough hardships, World War II and, and yeah. depression yeah. and, like, this is just something that we're going to get through. Yeah. And let's be grateful and thankful and then come out of this with a renewed sense of purpose, you know, or life or. Absolutely. And again, it's a little bit like the, the analogy of like the storm that you feel inside versus this chaos that you're feeling outside where it's like the more you resist what is inevitable, the more unhappy you are. And uh, yeah. it, you know, knowing that this is happening right now, we've got to embrace some changes and um find the good things that are happening in it and 
there are so many, there are so many beautiful, there's an appreciation for a working class that we haven't seen publicly for so long. Um, These parker, they, when this is all said and done, someone, they need a vacation. Yeah. Seriously, Why? thinking they about some, some of the initiatives that people might come up with to like reward the people who have been saving our lives and keeping people fed. And there are some really, really good things, but embracing whatever this chaos is that's happening right now, it's the same way with any mental health episode, embracing that this is happening. You're not going to get rid of it by wishing it away. Like no. just, just listen and observe and try to get something valuable from it and know that it's temporary. It all is. And we can learn from it. Yeah. I hope our planet will, will realize that when you take away all this man-made, the traveling, the planes, the cars and everything, the yeah. actual planet is getting better. That's, yeah. that's yeah. true. There's a really sweet um, passage that my friend sent to me, and we don't know where it's from, but I'm going to send it to you uh, after this. But it's about that. It's about kind of, um, it's just, it's very beautiful. It's anonymous, unfortunately. We don't know who wrote it, but I'll send it to you and I'll put it in my story. Okay. Here's something really sweet someone just said to you. Can you see the pinned comment? Oh, hang Rose. on. Rose. Which big inspiration? M T T E. Oh, yeah. Uh, the... Can you read that? And I love how you play balls, and I just think that you reminds me. Ah, oh, I make you laugh. But I'm so serious all the time. He's so serious. That's yeah, really. So and I don't want to keep you on forever, and you got to take those things. Just if you want to say hi to, there's a lot of people that are saying hi, and, and hi, I really guys. appreciate I'm you doing, doing this. Appreciate you all checking in. Alicia, thank you. Um, why did you cry for such a long time after you watched all Christmas Prince movies? I really um, am glad that I moved you. Thank you, Lola Grace. Uh, wait, I'm British? No, I'm not. I'm a New Zealander. No, this is, I think it's really amazing. We've done two of these now with you and people are always amazed that you have a New Zealand accent. Yeah, they, people don't know where I'm from. She's a from Kiwi. Belgium. My ancestors are from Belgium, but I actually have never been. Shows how good of an actress you are though, that people generally don't think you have an accent. Oh, well, thanks Lenny, I'll take that. I will pop that in my little bag for later on when I'm feeling bizarre. Um, love your work and work. Thanks so much, Jasmine and everybody, Anna. Emily. We and uh, someone morning. sent the message said, post more pictures of your garden. Oh, okay. Okay. Look, post you know, more pictures of your cooking. I, that makes me blush. It makes me like, I'm so, I'm a proud mother of this garden. And I've been like, looks fantastic. Very, um, very enthusiastic, but yes, get a basil plant, do it inside. You can do it guys. You can. Um, get, yeah. Anything else? No, just be kind to everybody. Like, and Lenny, thank you so much for having me. And thank doing you. This is the best. I'm so happy we did this, Daniel. Uh, for anyone, I did one of these just right before this with Daniel Bonjour. That's on my page. Uh, I guess you click on the stories and then the live or story. I don't know. And mm -hmm. then I'll save this. Rose and I, we've been talking for about 40 minutes and talked about some really good things to do with coping and gardening and being patient and kind with yourself. And so if you want to go back and watch it, I think that'll be for 24 hours or something. Thanks. And I hope you're good. Thank and you. I'll guess your love. She went out to do some errands with her dad. They're oh. staying, staying, they're staying, staying out there. But they're keeping it. No. <laughs> well, lots yeah. of love to her. And you guys take it easy and keep it up with the healthy smoothies. You've inspired me. Yeah, I'm going to go have one now. I didn't have it yet, and I'm starving. Oh, it's 3.30. Lenny, come on. Let's get No, we got up and did our walk. Oh. I got, yeah, I got, I got turned around. You're doing the other things in your toolbox. You're All right, I love you here. Thank you so much. Bye, love. Head okay. of George. Bye. Yes, you'll see love. Bye-bye. Have a good day. All right. Woo. That's a lot of talking. Um, that was pretty good. Is anyone else? Let me see if I can... Uh, Quickly answer any more questions. God, that was great. Daniel and Rose, both amazing. Isn't she just the best? Um, the gardening. God, I wish I could cook better or garden. I don't do either well. I'm trying to pull up questions. Nothing. Is, um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, That's pretty much it. Does anyone have any questions? If you have any questions, we can do it. I'm trying to do things. Uh, yes, I was on Nurse Jackie. I played Lenny on Nurse Jackie many, many, many years ago. 
Uh, I know Rose, she, my wife, Jessica Harmon, worked with Rose on iZombie, so I've gotten to know her a little bit, and she's fantastic.